Hi, this is Dr. Artie Kavanaugh. I'm here at RWCS 2016, and we're in the middle of the area where we have the fellows posters. And we have a very interesting, a lot of interesting presentations. We have one that's uh, fellow, Dr. Asfar from uh, Wayne State is going to take us through and tell us about this. Looks like a very interesting case. Dr. Asfar? Thank you so much for having me here. Um, trying to explain this case, so this is an 18-year-old uh, female, totally healthy. Like she presented to us with a three-week history of sinusitis. She was treated with antibiotics by primary care, they didn't resolve, then her, she had eye proptosis. So bulging of the left eye, uh, we did CAT scan, uh, which showed the eye mass, if you can see here. Uh, this is the eye mass. All the cultures for infection were negative, so we did the autoimmune workup. She has ANCA positive and PR3 positive. She really didn't have any respiratory symptoms, but we did x-rays. It was negative. She has little cough, so we said, let's go through this CAT scan. And we did the CAT scan, which showed like multiple cavitary and non-cavitary lesions, as you see here. And we did biopsy that, which shows the necrotizing uh, vasculitis and granulomatosis. Uh, we did treat her with uh, rituximab, uh, four doses, the RAVE trial. And she really totally now asymptomatic. And we are following with her. We are doing the CD19, CD20, the c -ANCA, everything is undetectable. And we did a follow-up CAT scan on, of the eye and the lung. Uh, the lesions totally disappeared. So the lady is doing great. We're going to continue to follow up with her. Uh, once we see any detection of the activity of CD19, CD20, or c we will give her another uh, dose of rituximab. Thank you so much. Very, very interesting case. We always think of eye disease as being part of it, but it sounds like you, you weren't thinking about it because you're so asymptomatic in terms of the lungs didn't that they really didn't help you at the early part but you kept at it and got the diagnosis would it are you gonna plan to retreat her at an interval or wait until the symptoms recur so we were discussing this issue of uh, uh, retreating her so there is either we do like a scheduled uh, retreatment or the other way is to follow up her symptomatically and follow up the B cells and the C anchor. Once we see any detection or become symptomatic, we're going to give another uh, dose of rituxima. All right. Thank you. Very interesting case. So the a uh, lot of interesting cases. Good year here at RBCS 2016 and for Room Now. Thank you very much.